Hello, uh, Dr. Squires. Uh, it's uh, Tarek Malik uh, from Space.com. Uh, thanks so much for having some time uh, uh, to talk with us with this uh, interesting uh, time delay experiment. Um, I guess a great place to start uh, with you on, on this uh, uh, in this event would be to ask uh, how uh, you know how how the mission has been going. You're kind of a uh, a, a good ways into it, and uh, and you know what what's been the most striking or surprising thing that you've seen so far on the bottom of the ocean. to talk to you again. Um, yeah, good question. We're a little more than halfway in right now. Um, yeah, it's going incredibly smoothly. It's going incredibly well. Of course, as you know, I was on the crew for uh, NEMO 15, and that was a great mission, but we faced some significant challenges on that mission. Um, we did most of the mission in uh, very reduced visibility. We did most of the mission in some pretty strong currents. And uh, worst of all, the mission was cut short about halfway through by a, a hurricane and we had to get pulled out of the habitat and so uh, we were not able to complete a number of our objectives. Uh, the most important of those uh, being the ones where we were doing interactions with submarines. Now these submarines are a crucial part of what we're doing out here because the submarines uh, simulate a uh, small spacecraft that can be used in tandem with uh, crew members that are uh, that are on EVA, and so what we do is we use the submarines to uh, position crew members. Uh, crew members are in foot restraints, and then we can use those foot restraints uh, to enable hands-free operations on the asteroid surface. And uh, you asked me what was the biggest surprise. I don't know if I call it a surprise or not because I, it, it was sort of seemed like common sense to me, like that that would work fairly well. But I just came indoors uh, from my first real data taking EVA with uh, one of those um, submarines this morning. And man, it worked beautifully. They translate well, they get you where you need to go. And man, you're in that foot restraint and you got both your hands free and you can, you can hammer, you can take cores, you can deploy instruments. Um, it was a great way to work. So uh, uh, I, I feel like I learned so much. I feel like I know twice as much about how to explore an asteroid now than I did, you know, five hours ago. Uh, members are in foot restraints, and then we can use those foot restraints uh, to enable hands-free operations on the asteroid surface. And uh, you asked me what, what's the biggest surprise. I don't know if I call it a surprise or not, because I, it, it was sort of seemed like common sense to me, like that that would work fairly well. But I just came indoors uh, from my first real data taking with uh, one of those uh, submarines this morning, and man, it worked beautifully. They translate well, they get you where you need to go, and man, you're in that foot restraint, and you got both your hands free, and you can, you can hammer, you can take cores, you can deploy instruments. Um, it was a great way to work. So uh, uh, I, I feel like I learned so much. I feel like I know twice as much about how to explore an answer right now than I did you know, five hours ago. Space.com. 